I've got a new favorite app and it has made me more productive than I've ever been in my entire life. Now I'm a bit weird. My alarm goes off pretty much every day at 5.30 a.m. I lie there for a bit scrolling through Twitter and just faffing about and then I roll out of bed about six o'clock, wander wearily downstairs, make my first cup of coffee of the day, which is absolutely vital, and I get to work. That first hour of each working day has been absolutely critical for me. In fact, I'd argue that it's been central to getting the Mark Ellis Reviews brand off the ground and into a state of continual growth. And the reason for this is simple. Between 6am and 7am, I write that day's blog post. If you're not aware, I blog daily on both my website and Medium. I'll put links to both in the description. But without those blog posts, there'd be no content for this channel, there'd be no YouTube channel at all, and obviously there'd be no audience. There's there's just one problem with this early morning routine, which is focus. And as creative as I am, weirdly, during those early hours, I still need some help getting into my kind of flow working state quickly. Well, I think I've finally found the best tool for the job. It's an app called Brain.fm, who aren't sponsoring this video, but I do have an affiliate link partnership with them, which means you get 20% off the subscription if you click the link in the description. That rhymes, but never mind. And basically, Brain.fm promises to pipe music into your ears that, in their words, affects your brain differently than any other music. But what does that mean? How does it work? And why am I finding it so beneficial? So I've always used a combination of music and noise cancelling headphones to get work done. But before Brain.fm, I was using Apple Music and Spotify to find that music. More specifically, I've always loved Spotify's near endless vault of productivity focused playlists. From movie soundtracks to binaural beats, my library is absolutely full of music that is designed to help me get things done. There are a couple of issues with this strategy, unfortunately. Firstly, it means I have to find a suitable playlist every time I want to get to work. And often that results in me scrolling endlessly through my playlist library and flicking between those that I think might do the job. Clearly, this is the antithesis of getting things done because I spend more time looking for music than getting work done. Secondly, this kind of behavior completely ruins the recommendation engine on platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. Both of those services now continually recommend me swirly, floaty tracks and random movie themes outside of working hours. And the auto-generated favorites mix on Apple Music is currently a mixture of Pink Floyd, The Prodigy and Spa Music. So Brain.fm is an app for both iOS and Android. And for me, it sits on my Android phone, which is the S22 Ultra at the moment, my iPhone 13 mini, and also several of my iPads. And this app promises to deliver functional music to improve focus in five minutes, whether you're working, relaxing, sleeping, or even meditating. Now this is quite a claim, but the developers behind Brain.fm aren't messing about. In fact, they're not just developers, they're proper scientists. There's even a page on the Brain.fm website devoted to the science behind the service, where they share white papers, research notes, and the results of a performance pilot. You don't get that with many apps. Now, I'm not a scientist at all, so all I can do is quote the team at Brain.fm. We're told that the app uses patented neural phase locking, which enables populations of neurons to engage in various kinds of coordinated activity. I have no idea what any of that means, but in essence, and in language that idiots like me can understand, this app delivers music that puts you into that required mental state, whether it be for working or even to get you to sleep. All you need is a decent pair of noise cancelling over the ear headphones. I'll leave a link above to a buying guide I've made for those a smartphone, and a Brain.fm account. Now you can get a free trial of Brain.fm, but after that you do have to pay for it either monthly or annually. It's about $7 a month, or you can save a bit if you pay for the annual plan. And remember, if you use my link in the description, you can get 20% off that annual fee. But this does beg the question, is that investment worth it? I think finding an app that solves a problem immediately is pretty rare, but for me, that is exactly what Brain.fm has done. As soon as you open Brain.fm, you're asked what mental state you'd like to achieve, and the options are focus, relax, sleep, and meditate. Within each mental state, you're presented with a selection of purposes. So for instance, if you select relax, Brain.fm can help you chill, de-stress, or unwind. Need to get to sleep? 
Simply choose from guided sleep, wind down or deep sleep. And if meditation is your thing, Brain.fm offers both guided and unguided forms. All you do is select the length of time from which you want assistance from Brain.fm and the music starts playing. It's as simple as that. But it's the focus mindset that is so important to me. And I typically work in one hour sessions before I take any kind of break. So I simply choose the flow state that I want to achieve in Brain.fm, whether it be deep work, creative flow or light work. And then I leave Brain.fm to work its magic. And one of the best things about Brain.fm is that it automatically creates shortcuts to your most used flow states. So it really is just a one tap affair to get to work. The music provided by Brain.fm is absolutely perfect. There's a number of genres you can choose from, but I personally find it best just to let Brain.fm do its thing. Remember, this is music that shouldn't distract you or get in the way of what you're doing. It's this kind of permanent work soundtrack that practically disappears once you enter your desired flow state. And Brain.fm doesn't just play music, it combines it with that aforementioned neural effect. I think these are basically modulations in volume, which kind of go up and down like that very quickly. And you can change the intensity of those kind of rises and falls in volume. The idea I think think, and don't quote me on this because I'm not a scientist, is that these small changes in volume somehow lock into your own brain's modulating networks to help you focus. I wouldn't take that as red, but that, I think that's what's happening. But it works, big time. This is the only form of music I've ever found that literally sinks into my head and doesn't distract me, but gets me into that kind of working flow state that lets me get so much stuff done. So is Brain.fm worth it? As mentioned before, you can try it for free, but that's only for a few days, I think. After that, you've got to pay that monthly fee or the annual fee, which does mean it's yet another subscription. I think that annual fee, which is about $50 a year, isn't too bad, actually. And I think it does offer a pretty interesting return on your investment. If you think about it, for a little over $4 a month, you're gaining access to an app that is capable of seriously increasing your productivity. And for me, it probably means I can get rid of my Spotify subscription, which means I'm actually, I'm probably saving money, actually. There's just one caveat. This app is not a miracle worker. I've spent years working on my ability to get into a flow state while working, and Brain.fm just helps me get to that flow state quicker. It just feels like the kind of final piece of the jigsaw. Therefore, if you're struggling to find focus at the moment, or have never experienced that sensation of deep work, Brain.fm isn't gonna be the silver bullet you're looking for. However, if, like me, you're forever hunting through playlists to help you get stuff done, then Brain.fm will save you a massive amount of time. Just remember that you can get 20% off by using the link in my description. If you've still got some time, keep watching for a link to a video I made recently where I reveal one of my favorite apps, which has completely changed the game for me when it comes to password management.